Fighter jets are moving around faster than the speed of sound and they're ready to take down a target within moments notice. They're some of the most powerful engines out there and they can do some things that you can't even imagine. From crazy prototypes that didn't work out to some unbelievable things the Chinese are building, here are the most insane fighter jets that you won't believe exist. Are you guys ready for another action-packed American Eye video? Let's get on to it. But first, quick shout out goes to NFS Destroyer for leaving us this comment on our abandoned projects video about the Moss tank. That certainly seems like an interesting project that we can take a look into in the future. Number 11, the Saab Vegan Fighter. After being manufactured by Saab for 20 years, 329 were produced and is considered to be an all-weather fighter interceptor aircraft. This means it can handle the intense snowstorms that are often found in Sweden. Many airplane enthusiasts would tell you that this is a jet that's rather unique compared to others used by Western countries. Saab embraced a turbofan engine for this new fighter. Who would ever want to invade Sweden anyways? It's been touted for having excellent landing capabilities while displaying good fuel efficiency. The takeoff distance seems to be efficient enough to the point where they can even take off on some form of local street if they had to. Number 10. The Hal Tejas Manufactured by Hindustan Limited Aeronautics for the Indian Air Force, the Hal Tejas was meant to replace the MiG-21 fighters which were manufactured by the Soviet Union. They needed something that was upgraded to give them air superiority in Southeast Asia. Being able of hitting speeds of 837 miles an hour during its prototype days, it took another five years to make upgrades for pilot safety after some ejection systems proved to be shoddy. It made its international debut in 2016 when it flew to the country of Bayran during an airshow. It's capable of near vertical takeoff and its aerobatics were impressive to say the least. Number 9. Northrop McDonnell Douglas YF-23A Black Widow Designed to be a stealth fighter aircraft, the YF-23A Black Widow was a finalist in the U.S. Air Force's Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition which resulted in its construction. Two fighter prototypes were constructed, with one being nicknamed the Grey Ghost and the other one being called the Black Widow. Although it might seem to have a different design with the diamond-shaped wings, it managed to reach a speed of 1.8 Mach. The maximum speed it's capable of reaching is believed to be over 2 Mach. It was even powered with the same engine as the F-22. The project was ultimately cancelled despite showing good progress. It showed stealth ability and speed during the test run, but it wasn't quite as agile as they were hoping for. The Navy had planned to use the aircraft to study techniques for calibration and measuring flight results. This was ultimately cancelled and the two prototypes sit in museums in Zamperini Field in Dayton, Ohio. Some believe parts of the design will be used in the future as bombers and they haven't been given up on totally just yet. Number 8. The Shenyang J-31 China showcases their prototype Shenyang J-31 stealth fighter during the Zuhei Air Show. It's labeled as a fifth-generation multi-purpose stealth fighter plane that uses twin engines. It was made to provide advanced defense capabilities in close air combat as well as aerial bombing and air interdiction operations. Its predecessor, the FC-31, was basically fitted with stealth exteriors, angled vertical stabilizers, and larger internal payload bays capable of unleashing 2,268 kilograms or 5,000 pounds of explosives. Each unit costs $70 million to produce, which is a lot lower for the cost of the US F-35. Our plane typically costs $85 to $90 million to produce. Number 7. The Prototype PZL-230F Scorpion This Polish prototype jet almost hit the mass production lines in the late 1980s. This compact aircraft would have only been 32 feet long and extremely lightweight. It was also made of cheap, reliable materials but still well armored for aircraft at that time. Its design also allowed for it to take off and land on shorter runways. It would have been used to destroy enemy tanks, similar to the A-10 Thunderbolt aircraft. The reason why it was never put into mass production still remains somewhat of a mystery. Many thought it was one of the most advanced aircrafts at the time and could have at least served as an export to foreign countries. Number 6. Blomenvoss BV-141 This strange aircraft designed by the Germans during World War II is a reminder that not all planes need to be perfectly symmetrical in order to fly. The Blumenvoss BV-141 was designed as a reconnaissance aircraft to scout out the battlefield and 13 were actually built. Despite it flying actually quite well, it never went into full-scale production. The little compartment on the right side of the plane would have stored a machine gunner. There are no more of these airplanes on display at museums or anywhere. The Allies came across quite a few wrecked Blumenvosses but were never actually able to find one that worked. 
Number 5. The Sukhoi Su-47 This supersonic experimental aircraft was designed by the Soviets in the late 1990s by the Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. What's obviously different about this aircraft than most you see in the Air Force are the forward step wings. They're positioned at the opposite angle which increases the angle of sweep. One problem with this design is that the wings needed to endure a lot of stress and much maintenance. The wing design seemed quite beneficial however, increasing speed, shorter takeoffs and landing distances and better control. It was unbelievably agile during simulated dogfights to many surprise. This one might have needed wings made from composite and durable materials which was slightly out of the Soviet Union's budget at the time. But with the collapse of the Union, it was beginning to get a little bit too expensive. Number 4. Martin XB-51 Known as a trijet, this was designed to be a good ground assault aircraft, which was designed in 1945. Manufactured by the Glenn L. Martin Company, the United States Air Force was the primary user of this craft. During the conflict in Korea, the Americans were looking for a good way to increase their maneuverability at low altitudes and then could wreak havoc from above. After tests were concluded on a prototype, they attempted to construct a second one, which failed miserably during an aerobatic spectacle. The original prototype also crashed while refueling en route to El Paso, Texas. It's pretty safe to say that the design wasn't ready for full-scale production and after 12 million down the drain in 1952, just three years later, the project was cancelled. Number 3. The Dassault Mirage First introduced by the French aviation company called Dassault in 1961, this became one of the main aircraft used by Israel during the six-day conflict. It was considered to be one of the most prolific fighter jets in history and certainly combat proven. Each unit only cost $3 million in 1971 and an impressive total of 1,422 were constructed. France put an embargo on the entire region after instability in the area was clear, which meant that Israel needed to upgrade what they already had. Other countries such as Argentina, Australia, South Africa, Pakistan and India have also utilized this fighter in their arsenal. Some countries might even still respond to an attack with a Mirage and upgraded versions can still prove to be very effective. Number 2. Grumman X-29 The Soviets certainly weren't the only nation who experimented with forward swept wings and the US had their own prototype before they did. This was known as the Grumman X-29. Designed by DARPA and manufactured by Grumman, the Air Force had big expectations. There were only two that were actually constructed and it did in fact use carbon fiber composites as well as graphite epoxy for the wings. The strange material is known for being extremely durable during high amounts of stress and its first flight took place. The max speed of this vehicle reached 1800 miles per hour and it could fly 350 miles at a time. The one pilot crew could take a payload with them weighing 2 tons. Despite it being made of the right materials and everything, it was deemed as one of the most unstable planes ever built. It's unclear also how the Grumman X-29 ended up on a stamp belonging to the country of Burundi. But we suppose they could have chosen worse photos. Maybe it was donated? Number 1. Douglas XB-42 Mixmaster This aircraft almost sounds like it should be working at a nightclub and not flying through the skies. This was an experimental aircraft with a propeller on the rear instead of being on the front of the cockpit. This strange approach appeared to be successful at first and it managed to fly around Palm Springs, California for a while. But after further testing, it seemed as though the design was too unstable and the engine would overheat. The prototype actually crashed and was repaired, but only to sit inside a museum in Dayton, Ohio. So which one did you think was the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section and we'll see you next time!